Thank you for joining this lesson. Kindly subscribe to Shifting Grades as we continue revising together. The question is on logarithms and we are told to solve for x in the equation shown here. So we have a logarithmic equation here which says the logarithm of x to base 3 squared minus half the logarithm of x to base 3 equals to 3 out of 2. Therefore, trying to examine this nature of equation, we can see that the logarithm of x to base 3 is appearing twice. Here, it is squared, and on the other side, we have its half. Therefore, because the logarithm of x to base 3 is common, we can let it be certain unknown. For example, we can let it to be t. We can let the logarithm of x to base 3 be something like t. Then now we will have t squared minus half t equals to 3 out of 2. From there now we can simplify the equation by doing away with the fraction and we can do so by multiplying with 2 throughout. When we multiply throughout by 2, we shall have this one as 2t squared minus t because we multiply with 2 here and the 2 cancel out. And the other side we will have a 3. Trying to rearrange this equation, it will give us 2t squared minus t minus 3 equals to 0. This nature of equation we call quadratic and a quadratic equation can be solved and I choose to solve this one using the factorization method whereby we are going to get two factors whose product is 2 times negative 3 that is negative 6 and whose sum is negative 1. Therefore these two roots such that when multiplied we get negative 6 and when added we get negative 1 are negative 3 and positive 2. When we multiply negative 3 and positive 2 we get negative 6 and when we add them we get negative 1. Therefore now we can replace negative t with these two factors such that the equation will now read 2t squared Minus, instead of t, we will have, we can have minus 3 t, then plus 2 t, minus 3 equals to 0. At this point now, with every two terms, we can factor out the common factor. In the first one, we have t common, remaining with 2 t minus 3, then plus 1. And in brackets, we shall have 2t minus 3 equals to 0. So here we can see 2t minus 3 is appearing twice. We have again 2t minus 3. So we can pick 2t minus 3. And also we pick t plus 1 equals to 0. Therefore here, we have uh, two roots which can separately be equated to zero to get two distinct values of t. So 2t minus 3 equals to zero and also t plus 1 equals to zero. This one means that t equals to 3 out of 2 and again t equals to negative 1 t equals to negative 1. We can use the word or. So we have two roots of t and remember we had let t to be something. So we can now go back to our original equation and we say that now it is the logarithm of x to base 3 which is equal to t and we've gotten t as 3 out of 2. Or the logarithm to base 3 of x 
equals to negative 1, the other root of t. So now we can solve the two parts independently. And here we go to what we call logarithm notation to index notation. Therefore, we can reverse these expressions from being logarithm to index notation. Therefore, when an expression has been written such that the logarithm of a to base b equals to c, it means that uh, when we take b raised to c, we should get a. b raised to c should be a. Therefore, in this case, we can say 3 raised to 3 out of 2 is equal to x or 3 raised to negative 1 equals to x. So here, when we raise a 3 raised to 3 over 2 is 1.5 raised to 1.5 we get either x is 5.196 or 3 raised to negative 1. Remember, 3 raised to negative 1 can mean this. Eh? According to the laws of indices, when the index is negative, we said we can take the reciprocal of the number. So instead of 3, we have a third and the power becomes positive. Therefore, x equals to 1 out of 3 raised to 1, which makes it a third. Therefore, x is taking two roots here. x is either a third or x is equal to 5.196. So that is how we solve this logarithmic equation. Thank you for following. Subscribe to Shifting Grades and share the link. Thank you.